In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export data from your Power BI dataset into a CSV file automatically. I'm going to show you how to set it up in Power Automate. And we're also going to look at some of the options that you have to customize the exports of your files. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So in the previous video I covered how you can export your data into Excel and I got a comment about its limitation which I didn't know. There is a 1000 row limit for that video's method. So I started looking for another way that we could get around the limitation. And not only that, I also in this video wanted to show you how you can set up scheduled exports out of Power BI using Power Automate. So here's the report that we're going to use today. It's the Northwind database as usual. So we have just a few tables that I have uh, trimmed down a little bit. We have the categories table, which categorizes the products, the different types of products that we sell. We have the orders, which is when the orders were made. We have the order details, so how much they ordered and for uh, what quantity. And we also have some information about our customers. Now, this report actually has nothing in its report page, it's just blank. And I'm showing it to you in Power BI Desktop, but in fact, it's already been published in the Power BI service. So if we look at the Power BI here, you can see that we have this one, Export Weekly Report, which if I open, there is data in its data set underneath. It's just the report page is blank. So we're going to use this report in the Power BI service as our starting point for this demo. So let's set the scenario here. Let's say one of our colleagues want a weekly export of all our orders information in our data set to a file for their own reporting purposes. So they need columns from our different tables that we have here. So data from the categories, they want to know what products they ordered, when, who ordered it, and how much were the total sales. Now we can simply create a table here in our report and every week we can do it for them or they can export it from our Power BI reports. Or a better solution is we can use Power Automate to do this for us. So let's start by going to Power Automate here. And let's start by creating a new flow. So from here we have a few options on what type of flow we want to create. Uh, we usually use automated cloud flow or instance, but in this case, we are going to use scheduled cloud flow. So we're going to name this one export weekly because we want this report to export every Monday. So we're going to change this once a week, every Monday at let's say 9 a.m. There we go. We hit create. So the next thing that we need to do here is add a new step. So from here, we'll need to look for what is available to us in Power BI. I'm just going to scroll down here and look for Power BI. Power BI here. So you can see you have a few options on what you want to do in this cloud flow. And the first thing that you might see is you can export to file, but this only works for uh, Power BI premium capacity. So if you have just Pro, this won't work for you. So what we can use instead uh, is run a query against a data set. So we will need to define which data set we want to run a query against. So in this case, we want to look for our export weekly report file here, export weekly here. And the query text is where we will type the query that we want to run. So the query is just a set of instructions that will return us a value from our data set. So let's first define what we want as an export. So we know that we want to get different 
values from each of these tables into one single table which we want to export into uh, a file for our customer. So in this case, let's drag a couple of values here from our uh, from our table. So we have the order ID. We want, let's say, the product name. We want uh, category and order dates, perhaps. And then we want the customer name. So we will just put it as company name here. So we want this export table to be in our file and just to give you an understanding of how big this is I'm just gonna count it so it's about 2,000 rows of data which we want to export so this is double of the limitation that we were covering in my previous video so, and we want to export this using Power Automate so the first thing that we want to do is we first want to write the query ourselves and we want to preview how this looks like so we can actually start by creating a virtual table, which will give us a part of what we want in our query. So first we want to just use select columns. So this will return us a table. And then we want just order details here. And then we'll select uh, and we'll create the different columns that we want. So the first one, we will name this order ID and we want the order ID from there. The next column, we want the product, which we want the product name for. So we'll do a related product name. And just to preview how this looks like, this is how it looks like. So every order, the products that were ordered, and we're just gonna keep building on top of that. So let's continue. Let's add the next one, which is category related category name. Next is the order date related order date. And then finally, customer company name. So this is the table that we want to export. So it's not quite finished yet because although we have the table or the, um, the expression to create the table, it's still not a, in a query format. And the query format that we're looking for is actually the one, the same query that we write in DAX Studio. So um, to do that, so let's first just copy this select columns here. And let's go to external tools and use DAX Studio if you having if you have it installed yet but uh, if you don't have it installed then don't worry so much just follow the syntax um, I'm just using it to preview how the query would look like if we use it in Power Automate so here in this area in the middle we will paste our select columns here and if you know how to use DAX Studio you first need to obviously define and wrap your uh, your expression in a variable so we'll just name this one table and then at the end we want to evaluate that uh, variable so if you run so we just need to actually missing their var let's hit run and there we go so you can see at the bottom here it gives us a preview of the query itself so this is just checking that the syntax that we have written in our query is correct so we can see that result here and this is what we want in our file we simply copy everything here let's go back to power automate here we'll paste it in the query text here we we'll hit save and we will add a few more things here so we will create a file and we will create a CSV actually. So create a CSV table based on the first table rows in our data set. So the result of our query here. 
and then we will save it somewhere. So we will create a file in SharePoint, which I mean, you can create it in OneDrive, but in this case, I'm just going to create the file in our SharePoint site. Um, but it has to be an online source. So I'm going to choose the folder path. I'm going to say share documents under the demos folder. We're going to name this one um, orders.csv. So what happens or what will happen every week? is that every week it will create a new file in this folder and if the file that was there previously if there is a file it will overwrite that otherwise it will create a new one now if you don't want to overwrite the file that is already there you need to make sure that the file name is different every single time now to make sure it's always different you can add an expression here let's say um, date so that will make sure that the file name is always different every single week lastly the file content will be the output of the CSV table we'll hit save and that's your flow pretty much ready to go so if we want to test it and let's say we want to just run it manually for now Let's have a look. Let's wait for this to run. And there we go, so it's finished. So we can check and see how that file looks like. So if we go to the SharePoint site here and let's go to my demos folder, you will see that a new file has been created here, orders, which if we open has all of the products that we were expecting to see along with all the columns that we wanted and if we look at the number of rows of data in this file it's definitely more than the 1000 rows uh, limitation from my previous solution so what's great about this solution is that you can essentially use DAX to add filters to the table itself so maybe you want to get just the orders in the last month or maybe just get orders for just certain categories. And what you can do if you wanted to see the values first is you can test it out in, in your Power BI reports or in DAX Studio and then update the query in Power Automate. So for example, in this case, um, let's say we want to add a filter context in our select columns here. I'm just gonna wrap it in calculate table, which is essentially the same thing as the calculate function. And in this case, we're going to use a filter to say if the year of the order date is equals to 98. So that will filter and just give us any orders that are in that, uh, in that year. But if you imagine the possibilities, this filter could be anything. You can filter it to current year or current month or whatever context you want to apply in your query. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how to use Power Automate to automatically export data from Power BI into an Excel or CSV file. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I to do better for next time ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.